In this tutorial, we will take a brief tour of the database Slavery in America and the World, History, Culture, and Law, and run a keyword search to demo the database. This database is produced by a company called Hein Online that specializes in providing access to historical legal documents and materials. A database is an online collection of millions of research sources, most of which you will not find for free on the open web. In the Slavery in America and the World database, you will find resources such as periodicals, books, and primary sources. To navigate to this database, enter lonestar.edu into your web browser. Click on the Libraries link at the top of the page, then scroll down until you see LSE Cypher and click on the image. Now scroll down and click on Research Databases in the first blue menu box. Scroll until you see the History tab and click on the plus icon to expand the menu. Scroll down and click on the LSC Cypher Users link below the Slavery in America and the World Database title. Enter your library barcode number or LSC student username and password to access the database. Let's look at the main page of the database. You will notice that the contents of the database are organized by tabs near the top of the page. We will be focusing on the collection areas that LSE Cypher Library currently has access to. All Titles is the tab that allows you to search all of the categories and collections of this database at once. Use the Slavery Quick Finder to locate sources quickly with the convenient drop-down menu options. You can filter by position on the issue of slavery, by the type of document you are looking for, such as a letter, court case, or newspaper article, by the jurisdiction or area of legal authority of a court or other institution, and finally, you can filter by a list of predetermined topics, such as the Civil War. The next tab you will see is for periodicals. Here you can find great primary sources, including congressional records concerning slavery, from documents that range in date from 1774 to 1969. Simply click on the title that you are interested in searching. A search box will be provided for you to type in your keywords. For this tutorial, we will be searching the phrase, slave marriage. Now, browse through your search results and click on the title that matches your search topic. Now you should see a PDF view of your document. Take a moment to review the page options. You will see multiple options for viewing the document and you can email yourself a link to the document to view later. There is also a button that will help with your citations for the document you are viewing. Remember to have a librarian check your citations, even those provided by the database, to make sure they are correct. The Slave Statutes tab will allow you to search all statutes. This includes colonial, federal, and state statutes. Choose the location that you want to explore and click on it to view a drop-down menu with more options. Records are broken down by year and type of assembly. Choose the assembly or session that you would like to research. Just as with the periodicals, there are buttons that will allow you to email the document to yourself and give you the citation. The Judicial Cases tab is next. Here you can search Helen Turncliffe's collection of judicial cases, as well as Supreme Court cases and federal cases that address slavery. To search Turncliffe's collection, simply type your search terms into the search box and review your results. To search the U.S. Supreme Court, federal, or British cases, click on your choice. Next, you will be given the option to choose your time frame. Click on the time frame of interest and review the cases until you find one relevant to your topic. Again, you will notice that you have the same page view and options as our previous documents. The UNC Press Publications tab is where you can find full-text publications. The University of North Carolina Press has provided access to 50 high-quality books on the subject of slavery. Titles are listed alphabetically. Once you click on a book title that interests you, you can use the option on the left side of the page to browse the book contents or click on the magnifying glass icon near the top of the document to search by section, page, volume, or title. Type your keywords or search term in the search box provided and pick an area to run your search through. This search will yield a list of pages that your keywords or search term is mentioned on. Click the linked results and the page will be displayed. The Bibliography tab contains a list of recommended sources that can help you with your slavery research topic in and beyond this database. 
click on the link in the book title to be directed to a worldwide catalog. This catalog will show you where the title is available near you. If you need help requesting a title, contact the library for assistance. And finally, under the External Links tab, you will find other useful and authoritative online resources beyond this database. And if all of the tabs we just explored seems overwhelming, take advantage of the Advanced Help and Search Help options to help you search with ease and streamline your results. You can also keep track of your search history. Under Search Help, you will see a guide on search syntax. Let's say that you need to do some research on slave marriages. According to this guide, we would type quotation marks around the word slave and marriage, then click search. This ensures that both of our search words appear together in our results. When we search our phrase slave marriage without the quotes, our results show documents that have both words, but in separate instances. Keep this search tip in mind as you begin your research. Thank you for taking this brief tour of Slavery in America, History, Culture, and Law. Still have questions about using this database? You can contact any of our librarians at scifairlibrary at lonestar.edu. As always, we are here to help.